At least three aid workers were killed on Thursday night in a Boko Haram attack in Ranburno State. They were killed when the terrorist struck at a camp housing internally displaced persons. Many of the IDPs were injured in the attack. UN spokeswoman Samantha Newport told AFP that four aid workers were killed and one is missing and suspected to be abducted. She said that the attack appeared to target the military is the government forces winning the war on terror in the Northeast. Data feeds are coming through in one place simultaneously on all our social media platforms, channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels where you can follow us right now on m.channelstv.com and on Facebook as well. We've got all our platforms and social media covered. Be part of the show, tweet at Gimba Omar CTV and use the hashtag State of the Nation to air your thoughts on the subject. Borno state government has proposed the official shutdown of all IDP camps in the state by May this year. Governor Kashim Shatima of Borno state speaking on Thursday promised that the displaced persons who are willing to return to their homes would be granted safety and support by the state government and humanitarian partners. Rebuilding efforts have been seen construction spreading across all the local government areas at different levels of completion. Can the government, though, live up to its protection promise for the IDPs in returning to their farmlands? United States Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is being expected in Africa next week, Thursday, to meet with leaders on the continent in his visit. First visit, of course, since President Donald Trump entered office. Tillerson will travel to no fewer than six countries and Nigeria between March the 6th and 13th. The visit follows a scandal which erupted when President Donald Trump allegedly branded African nations shithole countries in January. We still got more still coming through at this time. About 20 persons have lost their lives in a clash between farmers and herdsmen uh, in Gwamba village in Demsa, local government area of Adamawa State. We're going to be keeping a close look at that. It's prime time here in Lagos and this is State of the Nation. Welcome everyone to State of the Nation. I am Gimba Omar and data feeds are still coming through in one place simultaneously on all our social media platforms on channelcv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels where you can follow me on, M, on uh, Gimba Omar CTV and at uh, uh, channelcv.com. Uh, let's get started with some of the security concerns that we have facing the country at this time. We understand about 20 persons have lost their lives in the clash between herdsmen and farmers in Gwamba village in Demsa, local government area of Adamao State. Reports from the affected area state that the herdsmen stormed Gwamba village at about 6 p.m. Uh, yesterday on a reprisal attack following a previous attack launched on them by Bachama Ute in Adamao State, the Yobe State. Uh, in Yobe State this morning, we also had a suicide attack carried out on a mosque. And also, we had three aid workers who were killed by Boko Haram insurgents in Ran, that's in Borno State. Let's begin the analysis from that particular point. Mr. Michael Jofo is a former director of DSS. He joins me from our Abuja studios. I want to thank you so much indeed at this time. It seems to suggest that it's a frost of security concerns across the country from the northern, uh, far northeast part of the country to uh, even the middle belt in Benue. Don't forget that we've had that situation where about 5,000 people were sacked from their homes. Tell us, what exactly is going on? Well, this is a real trying time for Nigeria. And uh, apart from walking, we need prayers. It's, the time is very challenging. And uh, one cannot explain or understand the reason behind all these uh, senseless attacks on uh, our citizens. Uh, but uh, I will take consolation that the government is uh, equally 
positively reacting to the situation. Um, the, the, the worst is this issue of attack on the IDPs and the humanitarian workers. It's very, very sad, very sad indeed. It's not good for Nigeria's image. And I'm also happy that uh, the president has also reacted to it, condemning a brutal, brutish, and uh, uh, senseless, uh, according to statement issued by the chief uh, press, uh, the press secretary, uh, a special advisor to the president on the media. Um, this is not the time for us to start having blames. Who is responsible for this or who is not responsible? All hands must be on deck now. There's no time for blaming anybody. The citizens must be mobilized to look at the environment. Look at the environment because these people don't operate from the thin air. We cannot leave all these things to the security agency. It's sad that this thing is happening down. And very sad indeed. When you, heard, when you heard about the killing of three aid workers by Boko Haram insurgents in Borno State, when we're made to understand that uh, that sect has been largely degraded or even defeated, what came to your mind? Well, you see, I don't believe in this issue of uh, whether Boko Haram is degraded or is defeated. The most important thing is that we should try as Nigerians to reduce the effect of these attacks. Uh, if they are degraded or they are defeated, then why are these people still operating? I've said this in times without number, without sounding like a broken record. Uh, many countries have been fighting this uh, insurgency, terrorism, over a period of time. Nigeria is not an exception. And it's a global war. We must seem to understand the situation, see reasons why we should also support government and support our environment. Uh, people must be mobilized. That's my position. Because the issue of saying whether our security agencies are doing well or they aren't doing well, we have overflogged that. People must be mobilized to support government.